Okay, so I just want to take you through a quick crash course in how to use playlists, which is probably one of the most commonly used modes on the B Beats. So when you power up, you can select playlist mode by hitting the, um, the soft button F2, which is playlist, that'll load the first song, or probably more easily, more intuitively, and uh, more common, hit the playlist button at the bottom. So there you'll see your playlists. Um, each one of these is a set for the performance, the gig, whatever you want to call it. Um, so for our show, we're going to use this one here. It's a, a one sixty minutes with video. So if I hit play, it'll start playing the show. Um, incidentally, before we start all that, the default holding the screen is in the background, which you can see there. So I can pop into there with the wheel, and there is my set list. Uh, typically, I'll start from song one. So here goes the show. We hit play, and we're off. Um, so the audio starts playing. Uh, the audio is muted at the minute for the sake of copyright and issues. You'll see the video far off in the background there. When it gets to the end of each song, um, I can just simulate that by fast forwarding. You get to the end of the song with that autoplay turned on, which it's not at the moment. Reach the end of the song. You'll notice that the, the play button is flashing, indicating it's ready to go to the next song. The next song title is on the screen. And before it happens, the holding screen's back on. So you go into song two, it's as simple as pressing the flashing play button, and away you go. There's song two. Run through that one more time. So the song finishes. Current song title, playthrough, countdown time, and then we're ready on pause, standby for the next song. And bang, away we go. Now, something else to be aware of, you may have a hiccup. Um, occasionally, your band might drop a clanger and it all goes a bit wrong. So what do you do in that instance? You need to stop the playback device. Worth noting on this, if you hit stop, that enters pause mode, hence the flashing play button. You'll notice your screen freezes. So hit it a second time and it'll actually stop the track. What it really does, it rewinds back to the start of that track. And what images on the first frame of your video will be on the screen. All of my videos start with a blank screen, so I've got a blank screen there. It's not actually a blank screen, it's the first frame of that video. If you hit it a third time, that will get your holding screen back, but it will also take you to the top menu. We need to re-enter the set list. So you can jump back in with your pop wheel, choose the next song, whichever that might be, and away you go. So it just runs that quickly again. Mid-song, someone's gone wrong in the band you gotta hit stop stop it we'll pause it stop it a second time rewind a third time get your holding the screen back on if you want some kind of image on the screen you want to resume jump back into that set list which you probably should be highlighted then find the next song and away you go simple as that um, probably not relevant here but slightly um, for the more advanced features there is a live mode here which is supposed to optimize the running of the unit and stop you doing accidental controls. It just limits it to you simple stop and play, which is great, but there's a flaw in the system. I wouldn't recommend using that as it is at the moment, uh, because if, for example, we press stop to pause it, stop to stop it, and we accidentally hit it a third time, we're back to the top menu. I want to hit play. It's going to rewind back the start. So if I want to go in and choose a song, ah, oh, I've got to exit from live mode, which is a lot of faffing about. So as it stands at the minute, that's pretty um, not designed to help the musician. There we go. So there's your crash course. And then for your next set, choose your next set list, find your song. It usually starts at the first one. Notice if you scroll down, it will um, kind of loop back to uh, track one. Quick recap. Press play at the end of each song. It will uh, sit waiting on the follow on song where there's a title, play and away you go. Have an accident in the band, stop, stop, stop. Wish to resume, jump in your set list, find your next song and away you go. Happy days.